Hi, this is John Clements. Uh, today is June 19th, 2009. We're out in the UMass Cold Spring Orchard. I'm going to quickly show you some cherries here that are ripening and some problems we're having with these. These couple of trees here happen to be Jubileum. Sometimes it's called Erdy, Erdy Jubileum. These Jubileum have been reasonably productive every year except for the year we had spring frost. Um, it's a what I would call a tart sweet cherry. Actually they're eating very nicely right now. However, there's some uh, significant splitting on these. We've had three, four, five inches of rain over the past week, depending on your location. I believe about four inches here in Belchertown, and um, these are somewhat resistant to splitting and cracking, but these Jubileum are still split. But they're definitely ready now, June 19th. It's an early tart sweet cherry. Would do really well in farmer's markets, if you want my opinion. One significant problem is birds. Uh, cedar waxwings love to get in these early cherries. These are Chelan, and you can see they're pretty well eaten here. There's some more fresh bird eating um, on the Chelan. Chelan is also early, pretty close to being ready right now. However, without being netted, um, you're just going to have 100% bird loss on these. That's Chelan, C-H-E-L-A-N from Washington. I should have mentioned the Jubileum is a tart cherry, sweet tart cherry from, or tart sweet cherry from Hungary. Here we have Cavalier. Cavalier was a cherry, is a cherry from Michigan, I believe. It, it goes by another name now, but that escapes me. I'll put it in the final video here. But I was a little taken aback at the amount of cracking that's happened here again in these Cavalier cherries. Um, it's turning out to be a very bad cracking year, and this is the problem you have unless you cover cherries with some sort of rain cover here in the East Coast particularly when you run into a stretch of weather like this with a lot of rain. So that's Cavalier. Just quickly, I wanted to show you these, the Erdy er 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 Jubileum, the Chelan, and the Cavalier cherries. I'm pretty well convinced that if you're going to grow cherries on the East Coast, you need to have these covered um, from rain, uh, i.e. a hay grove tunnel or something similar. Um, at the very least, bird netting, but I think they need full, full covers. And that's probably nothing new. That's just the way it is. You have to spend some money to make some money. If you put the covers on these, um, you can grow some nice cherries and, and get good money for them at farmer's markets. So John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Have a good one. Bye.